This video will focus on vulnerability assessment scanning using a Qualys scanner appliance. The Qualys vulnerability management application uses an inference-based scanning engine that only launches the appropriate modules and assessment tests for each targeted host, which helps to increase the performance and accuracy of your vulnerability scans. Initial modules are launched at the beginning of an assessment scan to collect the data needed by the scanning engine to select the appropriate vulnerability assessment modules and tests. The primary modules that collect the host configuration data that will be used later by the scanning engine to select the appropriate assessment modules include host discovery, port scanning, service detection, and operating system detection. The host discovery module will begin the data collection process by performing some checks and probes to determine the present status of each targeted host, either alive or dead. You'll find the host discovery configuration options inside each option profile within the additional section. One of the primary goals of host discovery is to eliminate dead hosts from your vulnerability scans. Here you can choose and customize the different probes that are used to detect host status, including TCP, UDP, or ICMP probes. Information contained in the ARP cache will also be used if your scanner appliance resides on the same subnet as the host assets you are scanning. Once the host discovery module has completed its task, a list of your live targets is passed to the port scanning module. It's the job of the port scanning module to determine which TCP and UDP ports are open, depending of course on the number of ports that you are actually targeting in your scan. The scan section of an option profile is where you specify the TCP and UDP port numbers to target in an assessment scan. The standard scan option is the most commonly used and default TCP setting. It targets the most commonly used TCP port numbers in a typical network environment, about 1900 TCP ports, which can save a considerable amount of time, especially when compared to the full option, which targets all 65,535 TCP ports. Click the View List link to identify the exact port numbers targeted by the standard and light scan options. And then use the additional checkbox to add any additional port numbers you may need. Although the TCP protocol is connection oriented, the task of port scanning, discovering which ports are open, does not require the completion of a TCP three-way handshake. After receiving an acknowledgement from an open port on the target host, the Qualys scanner will follow with a reset packet instead of the final acknowledgement, or what is called a half-open SYN scan. Although the option to perform a three-way handshake is available, it should typically be avoided unless you experience challenges or issues with the half-open SYN scan used by the port scanning module. You'll find full scan, standard scan, light scan, and additional port options available for the UDP protocol as well. But keep in mind that UDP is a connectionless protocol and therefore unreliable. Open UDP ports and services do not always respond to the packets they receive. As was mentioned earlier, by default, assessment scans are only performed on live host assets. You can override this default behavior by selecting the Scan Dead Host option here in the Scan section of the Option Profile. Once the TCP and UDP port scanning modules have completed their respective tasks, the list of open TCP and UDP ports is passed on to the Service Detection module. The Qualys Vulnerability Management application can detect over 600 different services running on both TCP and UDP ports. This is accomplished using valid protocol negotiation. IANA guidelines will initially be used to select the protocol for the very first service detection test. However, some services may be configured to use non-standard port numbers, and other services may be configured to use non-standard or unpredictable banners, which also play a role in the service detection process. If the initial test is not successful, Qualys will continue to negotiate communications with the targeted port until the correct service is identified. Once the ports and active services have been discovered on the live host assets in your scanning target, 
The OS detection module will then attempt to identify the operating system installed on each targeted host. At least one open TCP port is required for this task. For the most accurate operating system detection, Qualys recommends performing scans in authenticated mode. This will allow the Qualys scanner appliance to identify the exact operating system vendor and version number directly from the Windows system registry or by executing the appropriate command. An additional benefit to scanning in authenticated mode comes from the enumeration of installed software applications, which will trigger additional vulnerability assessment modules and potentially vulnerability findings for the installed software applications on the target host. Scans performed without authentication will rely on a combination of TCP IP stack fingerprinting with some enhanced protocol interrogation for the purpose of detecting the host operating system. Once all of the data collection tasks have been completed, the Vulnerability Management Scanning Engine will have the information it needs to begin selecting the appropriate vulnerability assessment modules for each targeted host. This information includes the host operating system, active services and ports, and the list of installed software applications. Vulnerability assessment modules perform active tests using non-intrusive vulnerability signatures. Some vulnerability assessment modules contain multiple tests, making it possible to compare and validate the collective test results and confirm the presence of a vulnerability. Thank you for watching this Qualys training video.